Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back for episode 8 of my career mode show, and it's titled The Boss. The concept of the series is to um, try and go through many different leagues. We're starting off with the A League, and we're starting off with Melbourne City, which is uh, Melbourne uh, Manchester City um, Theatre Club, formerly the Melbourne Heart. And we've got three games, as usual, and a few transfers in this game. And uh, came off um, a loss a few, a few games ago, and we, we bounced back pretty well. Um, go check out that episode, and also while I'm at it, uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, but let's get into the game. We're taking on Adelaide United. Um, it's an away game, and uh, it should be a tough one. I forget where they're located. Obviously, um, we're coming first by quite a while. Um, Brisbane uh, second, I believe. And then you got the, the other tough teams, uh, the Wanderers and um, Central Coast, those sort, of those sort of sides. So we're going to go straight into 27th minute here. We've got Williams on the ball. And um, Campbell, um, is, he's playing again. He's our lone um, person we bring in on loan. And he scores there. Pretty nice goal. Uh, very lucky. But, you know, you have to take those opportunities when it comes. Because um, I'm just going to put it right now. All these games, pretty scrappy wins. Uh, we didn't blow any teams off the park or anything like we'd been doing at the start of the season. And as you can tell, uh, just by the 1-0 um, scoreline at half time, which is a little bit different to how it was uh, at the start of the season. I think losing Davavir really hurt us, but he should be back soon. And that's the only highlight of the second half, just the one that um, win with the goal to Campbell. But, you know, you've got to take those take those opportunities that we did. Because um, Lombo picked up man of the match. Still got Dugandic uh, on the right mid. And we'll be looking to bring in a right mid, which we do in this episode. As you can see, I hit counter offer right there, which I didn't mean to do. I got a heap of a heap of offers for Corin, or however you pronounce it. And um, unfortunately, I hit counter offer when I meant to hit reject. Um, and if I was going to counter, I would counter for more. Because his, his worth was 1.1, and we end up selling him for 975. You'll see uh, after this game confirmation. And uh, also, should note that we're taking on Newcastle Jets here, um, and it's a home game, so should be winning this one. And I should also, also note that um, this is the first game of our new signing, Victorino Fernandez. I think he might be Indian, I can't say for sure, but um, he's a 25-year-old right mid, and uh, he's going to slot into the right mid uh, for this game. And so you can see he, he's on the ball right now, in fact, and we see a nice little run made by Williams, and we've got Campbell in the middle here, still playing striker. And uh, that's a really nice um, cut out by the, the jet center back there. But then if I could, if I let the clip keep rolling, we would have seen that um, throw out. So that was all pretty much from the same clip. Um, I just cut out a little bit to save some time. And David Wins picks up his eighth goal of the A-lead. It was Fernandez who whipped in the cross. Um, just an early cross. He made the tackle and then got it into Williams uh, very quickly, as he needed to do. Because if we waited too long, uh, we would have ended up... Um, just wasting the opportunity there. So Campbell goes in there, makes a nice little tackle, and then goes to play a 1-2 pass, but gets taken down just outside the boss. He's on the edge. You'll see a free kick from Moy here in a second. But Q Jalians, who is the center back, um, yeah, he picks up a red card. And you think we take advantage of it, but we don't really take advantage of it. As you can see, that's full time. Um, that Moy free kick was the last highlight. So um, Victorino Fernandez, man of the match in his first game. What a start. Um, you couldn't ask for a better start, really. So um, here's just confirmation that Corin ended up getting sold to Bastia. I'm not sure where they're, they're from, but we only got 825000 back. Uh, it will help us bring in some new loanees, I would think. Um, we'll potentially say that in the next episode. Um, everything goes to plan. Um, but yeah, it's really disappointing because he's, he's been a, he's an integral part of our side. And, we've, you know, we've got to bring in someone who can come in and do the job that he's a good creator. Um, gets back in defense a little bit too. Um, we do have um, Madoka, or whatever his name is, Murdoch Madoka, um, or sorry, Massimo Madoka, I should say, and, and he's playing there, he's in the right center mid spot, um, partnering Aaron Moy, as you can see just there, but at the same time, they're different players, um, Madoka is more of like an engine sort of player, he runs all the time, he's more of a defensive sort of player, I would say, for me anyways, and David Williams just goes through, he should have slotted that one home, but he didn't hit the post. But it's, it's a good sign, considering the last few games had very little highlights. Uh, this one's got a little bit more, I'd say. So Aaron Moy here beats one player, goes through, um, jumps over the slide tackle, and he scores. Vukovic couldn't save that one. So what a goal by Moy. That's his third goal in the A-League, and you know what a time to score it. Because, you know, like I said, there was more highlights and stuff, but not necessarily uh, more goals, as you'll be able to tell. So I think it was Keoff, whatever his name, um, took a shot there. Nice save by Redmayne. 
and uh, we go to half time 1 0 up. We're looking to hold that lead, and we'll obviously, um, if everything goes to plan, we'll you know triple that lead. But um, as long as we win, is the main thing. So Duganzic it falls back to Duganzic, and it was a decent shot, but really that should have been finished. I thought um, very unlucky not to finish it. And then we get a free kick here, and uh, we have Madoka on the ball. He takes a shot, it hits the the post, and um, yeah, that's how it ends. Potentially could have been two or three, even four nil maybe. I mean they had some chances as well, but. We really should have capitalised on it, but we got the win, and that's the main thing. And I'd like to say it's come to the end of the episode. If you could leave a like, that'd be awesome. And subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you for the next episode, guys. Bye.